All right, what's up guys? Uh, I've tried to make this video before and of course I picked the windiest day. Like it's never windy here and it's super windy today. So hopefully, hopefully it's not too windy for the video. If it is, I'll remake it a third time. But uh, I really would like to get this video out. So this is my new 2020 Honda Grom. Just picked it up. It's stock, brand new. Now we've got 113 miles on it. I'm about to go fill it up for the first time. And so far, I am loving this bike. Uh, absolutely loving this bike. I got this green color because I wanted that yellow of the... Ah, uh, yeah. I got the yellow of the... Uh, Or I liked the yellow of the 2018 and uh, they don't make that for 20 and so they did have like a blue I kind of liked but I went ahead and went with the green I'm so happy with it we're gonna have, I'm gonna have to make this video quick because uh, I don't think anything's available I'm probably gonna have to remake this video because it's so windy but I just wanted to get a first ride. This will be my only video without the exhaust, this stock exhaust. It sounds like a moped right now. But uh, I wanted to get a few rides before I start upgrading it. And uh, I would like to get it through the first oil change, but I don't think it's gonna. So I'm gonna toss the exhaust on it. It gets here in two days. So we'll be tossing that on. That's gonna be really cool. I cannot wait for that because this thing, this thing will actually sound kind of like normal-ish, which is definitely on my list of things that need to be done. I mean, it's hard to hear with, like you don't look down at it every time. So it's hard for me to know when to shift because usually I go by sound and I know everyone's going to roast me for that. I really don't care. That's just how it is. Uh, and I think most people ride like that, but that's gonna be nice and it's gonna sound a whole lot better it's gonna sound like the other groms and luckily austin has like a pretty decent sized uh riding group especially for the smaller bikes z125 groms the monkey uh so I, I think we're gonna be able to get some cool stuff in i really do uh the r3 was kind of an odd bike some of you will remember that this guy can't drive of course the r3 was kind of like uh it was a hard bike because it was definitely able to keep up with the bigger bikes when you're riding around town but it just wouldn't do it's kind of a big bike for going that slow if you know what I mean I mean this thing is so much fun so much fun around here uh, and of course top speed on this thing right now even with me on it is like 55 on a good day so I'm getting some new gearing we'll be able to hit all the roads around here and the main reason I wanted this bike instead of trying to go for like a, I don't know, like an FZ, the new FZ03 even. That's a cool bike. I did not know that came out. The reason I did that is because I want a bike that I can go around school campus with without having to warm up my big diesel truck five minutes to go like two minutes away every time. So this is a good bike for that. And the R3 was just a little bit big for that. Now don't get me wrong, I could have had plenty of fun on the R3 around campus, but this will be much better. It's not gonna like, it's gonna fit in. There's a lot of groms at school. But yeah, so 120, 30 miles a gallon. We're gonna go fill it up for the first time. And yeah, it's gonna be like two bucks. But I wanted this video to be quick because I know I'm not gonna have time to make like a full on video, but God is so windy, bro. Also, I'm loving these gloves from Crushed. Not a sponsor, but God, I do love them. Well, these aren't street by any means, but we're vibing with it. We're just straight vibing with it.
But yeah, so this is the Grom. There's gonna be so many more videos to come on it. I'm gonna end the video here because it's so ungodly windy. But, and my GoPro doesn't ever live. But I'm gonna end the video here. And yeah, there's gonna be so much more to come on this thing. It's not even funny.